Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some items to share with you today from DIY Choose. They were kind enough to send me some goodies. Now I do have a couple of things that are maybe a little bit Christmassy themed but I do have one that isn't. So I'm going to start with that one that I kept hidden a sort of other things. One of them I think Megan is going to get very very excited about. In fact she could possibly get very very excited about this one as well. She does love like her galaxy, moon, stars, that sort of thing. But this one is like a moon with butterflies coming out of it. It's got some gorgeous colours. I could see this being put up in a nursery. It is a 30 by 40 and it is a round. It has 24 colours. You do get DMC numbers. There is no 310, but there is 939. And it has got a drill area of 24 by 34. So that's your actual drill size, but isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. You do get a toolkit, but it works better. And then diamonds wise, Looks like we're going to have a few purples and pinks, I think. So we have some more of your muted sort of colours, but then we do have some pops. We've got your, what looks like 550, nice yellow. We've got some of your blues. Oh, 939, doesn't look, if that is the 939, there's not a huge amount of it. So, number 11 is oh, 820 and 823 they are. Okay, 939, yeah, we do have a fair chunk of 939. But we have some hot pinks and some nice peachy colours and some gorgeous yellows as well. So there is a nice little bit of variety there. And then we do have, if I can get all these to fold up out the way, we have a couple more get those back in the bag. We have a couple more nice purples and blue and then just a spot of white. Just a little bit of white. Get those in there. But I think that's a gorgeous painting. So it's a nice nursery painting isn't it that could grow with them. Not be too 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 childish for too long. And then on to the other items. Now these are more off the canvas items. This is the one that I think Megan is going to pinch. I don't think I've told her it's coming either. Oh, we do have part of the sort of cover release stuff that goes over the top. It has stuck to the inside of the bag. Let me fold that over. That should be on there. We do have a little bit of a glue emergency, but we'll, we'll flatten that back down. But can you see? See, we have Tinkerbell. But we have Tinkerbell in what looks like a Christmas tree, which I thought was sweet. It's a little bag. It is clear on both sides. It's, it's fairly thick material. It's not too huge a bag, which is why I think she wants a bag. That's why I think she'll pinch it because it's a bag. Um, it is just over 29 centimetres across and it's about 38 deep. So that's the size of the bag. But enough for you to, you know, pop a few diamond painting bits in, especially if you're going away for Christmas. Um, otherwise, you know, maybe a bottle of wine or four would fit into the bag. But I just thought that was so sweet and I do I, I do think she's going to be um, pinching that. But we have a toolkit and then to show you the diamonds, we do have a fair bit of green as you can imagine. But we do have little, little decoration baubles across and even within, if you have a look, within the Christmas tree itself, which is like made out of little holly leaves, 
there is about four or five different symbols. So we have got one, two, three, four, and five numbers, and then we do have the one in the middle. So it does have quite a bit of shading, which is quite nice for an off the canvas item. We we'll start with the smaller ones. We have some silver, which will be the leaves, and also a little bit in the holly. Then we have a gorgeous green, beautiful yellow as well, and they're both sort of pearlized. Then we go to some rhinestones in green, some little silver stars. Then we have some clear drops and then we have some circles in red, silver and green, which dot about all over the tree and her necklace and in her hair. I actually kind of want to do this before I even show Megan because I think I'd really enjoy doing this one as well. And then of course I could gift it to her once it's done. Just looks like a fun one to do. It does. We'll have that debate later. I'll have that debate later with Megan, but isn't she gorgeous? It's probably my favourite item. So sweet. And then I do have um, a Christmas decoration. So this is a diamond hanging light. I don't know why we've got this code hanging off it, but let's get in it and I'll show you what it includes. A few different bits. Oh, oh quite a few different bits included in this. Oh, I didn't realise it came with two. Okay, so we have sort of the hanging thing that you'll turn it on and off for, from. I think it will need a battery because they, yeah, so it actually needs three, what looks like AAA. Yeah, three AAA batteries it needs, but it does come with a suction hook so that you can hook it onto a window. It then does come with what looks like little LED lights see the little led lights on copper wire we actually have two lots of the snowman okay so one of them has the diamonds on which is this front one so this has all the diamond symbols on and this one is just a copy of it but doesn't have the symbols and what you do is this comes with little little tiny clear screws and little spacers and it even comes with its own mini screwdriver doesn't it remind you of what you can get in a Christmas cracker so what you do is you put the little screws in these with a spacer and then you put the back part with the screw and the lights go in between so if you can see here, I mean, it doesn't, oh yeah, it does have, it's a different snowman, but you get the idea is that they'll hang down and then the lights will just go inside it here in between the two pieces of acrylic. Um, and then you sort of screw those in. That's quite sweet. You do get a toolkit all with some baggies, a little bit of an extra one with this one. So I suggest doing it with the diamonds and then making it up because it's a lot easier when it's flat. But we have, in basic diamonds, we have some red, dark red, blue, light red, green and turquoise. Nice colours straight off. Then we do have some more special diamonds. So we have some big round red ones, some teardrops in red, pearl in white, teardrops in blue, and teardrops in white. So we've got three lots of teardrops, red, blue, and white. And then the green, of course, will come out of the Christmas tree but yeah there's some really nice sort of Christmas projects available if you want something fun to do for the holidays did that come out of there no I 
them fit in there. Let's put them in there. I'll keep the diamonds separate, it's probably easier. But yeah, so you get two, I say, but you just decorate the one of them. And then that will go on the front and the lights will go in between the two. So there'll be a little bit of a space between the two by the time you've popped the spaces in for the lights to hang down. And then you can hang that in front of your window or maybe even somewhere else on a mirror and um, using the little suction cup so that you can take it down and save it for next year. Because that's the idea, isn't it? Just don't forget to take your batteries out before you save it for next year. So they're the goodies um, that DIY Choose were kind enough to send to me. I hope you like them. I do, very much so. Um, I've, I've been getting quite a few different Christmas bits recently and it's quite fun. But we have a couple of off the canvas items and then we have Ooh, a tape measure. No, that didn't come from there. And then we have a gorgeous moon diamond painting to go with as well. I will pop links to each of these items down below in case you want to treat yourself um, to a little bit of Christmas sparkle or a little bit of nighttime calm. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.